Well, it's not much of a vlog, but if you guys don't know, the Old Cow Podcast people have been really upset with me for not exercising, not mowing my lawn, stuff like that. So here's what we're doing. I'm going to try to vlog a little bit of exercise from time to time, including, look, it ain't much, but I kind of gave up on walking. You guys remember back in 2020, I was back here on this trail all the time with Sammy. Now I got somebody to walk it with. Mm -hmm. That isn't just a dog. Yeah. Maybe it'll be a little more interesting, but let me show you the little path near my house. It's cool back here, you'll like it. Oh, Sammy. Sammy, that's just the first bush. Oh my goodness. There's so much more to see, friend. So much more. Let's go, come mm -hmm. on. Again, they call the area that we live in Clabber Creek. And if you didn't know why, this is why it's, it's Clabber Creek. And I don't hear a clabbering, but I do see it creaking. I found a stick. This is a good stick. It's a very good stick. I could spank you with this, I guess. <laughs> That's not YouTube appropriate. No, no, run away. Sammy, Sammy, hi. Look what I found. You want to pee on it? He's like, whoa, dad, what the hell? What the hell? <laughs> You might notice that Leo is not with us. And that is because Samuel is such a perfect dog that he can easily walk without a leash. Leo is the devil. He's still in puppy mode. I've never been able to train Leo to do what Sammy does, which is heal and listen and stay. Sammy does it though. So Leo gets to stay home until he learns. Don't worry, he'll still get plenty of walks today. Trust me, uh, my roommate, Desi and even I walk that dog. This short walk that I'm able to make, trust me, nothing compared to what Leo will get. Uh, Sam is getting so old though. I don't know, I worry. I wonder how much walking he can actually do. But we'll see. His hind legs kind of went out um, not too long ago, which sucks. He can't really jump. He has to use doggy stairs, stuff like that. I mean, he's 15. I complain about being 50. But what is 15 in dog years? I can't do math. You tell me in the comment section. I'm stupid. I often wish I was as interested in anything as he is in literally everything. It doesn't matter what it is. Leaf, tree, flower, rock. And yeah, he loves a rodent snoot. Mm -hmm. I don't like anything as much as you like everything, Sammy. Okay, so here's the problem. What's that? Eventually my back will go out. Yeah. And if I'm not near a place to sit, uh, I'm in trouble because I, I, I'm going to hit the ground. Yeah. And I have no clue how close we are to like emergency services. Like, yeah, I don't know either. We're pretty much out in nature right yeah, now. Yeah, I think there is a little bridge slash dam. It was back here in 2020. I, I did this. If we can get to that before my back gets out, yeah. we'll be okay. Yeah. Also, my heart is going crazy. Oh, gosh. And also... I forgot my inhaler. But yeah, we forgot your inhaler and some cold water. If we're, we're going to die, if you got to die, die doing what you love, which actually would be still being at home playing video games. But this is second, close second, close second. Yeah. You look very good out here. Oh, I'm glad. I have a very good camera person. You do. You make me look not exactly like an abomination. Oh, honey. A little less so. Okay, found the only place to set back here, which is not great. Um, I think it's quite pretty. I mean, it's very pretty, but it, the, there's mosquitoes. She has fire ants crawling on her. Yeah. Um, and it's not really like officially a place to set. This is just a, this is just a dam. Yeah, we're sitting on the um, edge. <laughs> but leave it to a fat guy to find a place to set, even if he has to be eaten up by mosquitoes and by, and by fire ants. <laughs> so that's nice. Mm-hmm. She could be up walking around. I, you should go explore back there. I should. Because I, I've never crossed that bridge to find out. Ooh. This is exactly too far for my fat ass. I'm afraid of what's back there. You tell you tell us. Good luck. <laughs> I kept her busy for a little while. Now I can play Pokemon Go. Oh, look at little Sammy trotting across the bridge with her. Enjoy, little Samuel. Enjoy. There's the downside to Sammy not being on a leash, but it's also the good side because most dogs in this neighborhood are very friendly. And he's just glad to make a friend today. I'm very 
sweet. Yeah, Sammy is the opposite of an aggressive dog. <laughs> Sam's like, I'm going home with you. Yeah, friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> He's like, you're way nicer than Leo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh Sammy. Good job, yeah. Sammy. Classic Sammy, who's definitely going to need his flea and tick when he gets home tonight. Uh, medication, but he's snooting in the tree. He's like, I didn't know other dogs were coming back here, Daddy. I must get my stink all over this one particular tree. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's been years since me and Sammy have been back here. Literally since 2021, probably. And I think he recognizes it and remembers it, and is just so happy to be back here. Either that or he's just a dog, being a dog, you know, but could be both. Look at that, she's leading him to water. He's, I feel like he's always wanted to go down there, but I'm not brave enough to get that close to the water. Sammy's not a water puppy either, but let's see. Let's see what he does. Oh, as usual, he's just ignoring the creek. He's like, look, the creek doesn't exist, but I could probably poop here. <laughs> well, Sammy is officially letting us know that he is ready to move on. Yep. He is a very sweet dog, but he does not understand that my back doesn't work. So he's just like, he's like, where are you coming? Oh, if not, I'm leaving. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Sammy. Sammy J. You ready? You ready to go home? <laughs> oh. Are you ready? This is apparently just a Sammy vlog now, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I can upload whatever the fuck I want to on this channel, and apparently now it's just Sammy vlogs. Mm -hmm. The wild Samuel has it's found Samuel. himself out near the creek. He listens to the creek clabber as he messes around with his front poles, and he stoots in the dirt. He is the cutest boy in the world, and he is ready for his daddy he is. to take him to the home to take his flea and tick medication. This is always the worst part, by the way, is getting up and moving. Oh. By the way, if you're gonna walk up dirt uh, paths, don't wear Crocs, especially ones that isn't sweating in. Um, and don't be fat. That is always the best advice I can give you about anything ever. Don't be fat. Good recommendation. Oh God, that stick is not stable. That is not a stable stick. Oh, I should have brought a walking stick. Why didn't I think to bring a walking stick? Son of a bitch. So I'm recording this on the 21st, 22nd, something like that, um, April. In May, I'm gonna be in Houston, Texas. Retropalooza, Houston. And I'm setting myself a goal. Try to get as much exercise between now and Houston as I can. Because you may not have heard this yet, but it's official, the Low Cow Podcast is coming. Jordy Jordan flying in from North Carolina, Tommy C flying in from Germany, Keemstar flying in from whatever level of hell he currently resides in. Um, we're going to have a panel there, so there'll be links in the description box for those you made at the end of this video, where you can uh, buy your tickets, plan your flights, get your hotel and meet all of us out there. And hopefully I'll be in slightly better shape because Houston's real close to Galveston. I like Galveston. There's a Rainforest Cafe there that has a dark ride on it. There's a beach I might be able to convince. I don't know, Keemstar and Jordy to hit a beach with me. I gotta go find my dog real quick though, shit. Yeah, that happens every once in a while. He'll get, he'll lag behind. But, you know, we ain't lost him yet. Can you hear that in the background? Yeah, I don't know if you can hear that. You know what that is? Tell him what that is, Daddy. Ice cream man. No good deed goes unpunished. That bitch is stalking me in the woods. Oh my God, there's salvation. There's my bench. Is that somebody sitting on my bench? Oh shit. Boy, you better move by the time I get my fat ass down there unless you're about to get crushed. Actually, they saw me coming, got up off of the bench, offered me the seat. They were neighborhood kids, um, I'd say 12 and 11. And they, uh, I told them I was the Halloween house and they were really nice to me. So that was kind of cool. I don't record uh, a lot of public interactions because I don't know, people 
negativity surrounding me and all this stuff. I don't want to ever make people feel bad or whatever, but uh, I bet if they knew I was a YouTuber, they would have wanted to be in the vlog as well. But who, hey, you know what? Maybe not these days. Let's be honest. It's tough out there, isn't it, Desi? It is. It's tough out there. That said, uh, I'm going to end this sucker. Me and Sammy and Desi are going, let's be honest, we're probably going to Starbucks to get a pink drink. <laughs> yep. But then after that, we're going home. So, oh my God, look at that bird. Oh my goodness. What is that? Is that a, can, I hope you guys saw that. Was that a bald eagle? I don't even know. My camera <laughs> work. Good. What was that? <gasps> at least it didn't shit on me. Yeah. Like I know you guys will in the comments well, section. I was so watery too <laughs> from the bright side. As always, <laughs> thanks for watching. Guys. We love you very much. And we'll speak with you again soon. Sammy. Sammy. <gasps> you want to say goodbye? Say goodbye, Sammy. On the Sammy. Outro? You say goodbye? Oh. <laughs> Bye.